Hey, fifth graders. Uh, today we're going to talk about forms of energy. And you can see by the notes there that there are some listed with definitions. And you can get those definitions um, later in the Quizlet. Or you can copy them down here in your journal um, after you watch the video. Okay, let's go ahead and begin. Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, go over some of the definitions as well as some pictures or examples. And we'll go through them kind of quickly, but I'll pause between each one to give you time to write them down in your journal if you want to. Thanks. Next slide, please. Okay, our first word is energy. And energy is what is needed to do work or cause change. You can see here in the photo, the candles are on fire. And that fire is causing change to... I'm sorry, the fire is causing change to the candle, right? The wax is melting, the wick is burning, and that's causing the change. So that's one example. You also see the light bulb turning on and off. That's also an example of energy or causing change of there being no light to there being light. Next. When you think about mechanical energy, think about moving parts. That's a big one here, moving parts for mechanical energy. Um... The wheels on the bike are a great example. Uh, energy is produced by a machine or a moving part. So you can see these guys on a nice family bike ride enjoying using their mechanical energy. Electrical energy is produced by the movement of electrons. That's how we power most of our devices. Matter of fact, you're using electrical energy right now as you're watching this video, you're listening to it in your speakers or your headphones or your AirPods if you're fancy. That's all electrical energy. Light energy, that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it's the energy that your eyes can see, uh, light sources. Uh, there's, there's all kinds of light involved in the spectrum. Some of it we can't see, but uh, all the light that we can see from our eyes is considered light energy. Here's an example, a lamp. The sun is another example. Thermal energy that causes the transfer of heat or temperature between materials. You can see the example here. They are transferring the heat from the blow dryer onto the girl's hair to make it curl. Uh, you can see the fire here also. Uh, the heat transferring from the fire uh, to the logs to burn it, right? That's also energy causing change. And actually, the fire can also be light energy because we can see uh, the light coming off of the flames. Uh, but thermal energy would also use to cook your food. Uh, maybe you want to boil an egg and you can heat up the water. That's thermal energy. Okay, next slide. Okay, so sound energy is pretty interesting. Sound comes from the vibrations of the air molecules um, into our eardrums, right? So vibrations you can hear. And that's produced by musical instruments, your voice, music that you listen to, uh, your little TikTok videos you like to watch and listen to, that's all that's vibrations. Uh, that's what's causing the sound energy. Next slide. Okay, just doubling back to make sure you understand um, energy, and that is the ability to do work or cause change. Okay, so we're going to do a small quiz here, and this is a special kind of quiz because you will get the answers along with the question. So it's less like a quiz and more like uh, cheating because you will have the answers. But it's all to help you understand the concept, so let's go on. What form of energy do we see here? Well, it's mechanical because we have moving parts, right? Remember we said we're going to have moving parts for mechanical, and there the gears are spinning, so that's why that's moving parts. On the next slide, we have electrical energy. Of course, the TV is off, but if it was on, you would be seeing your favorite show, uh, whatever that show could be. Uh, but yeah, electrical energy, that's the TV has to have electricity to work. That's why the TV is electrical energy. Oh, here's the hair again, another example with the hair, thermal energy. Also, it could be um, heat from your stove. That's a stove burner, and then maybe you have a pot that's boiling water on top, right? That's thermal energy. What form of energy is this? Well, it's mechanical because the hammer is moving, right? It's a moving uh, part that's hitting the nail. Of course, it takes your elbow to move it or your, your own physical power, <laughs> power but 
It is mechanical because it's a moving part. Here's a, a good example of light energy. Uh, this is the color red, but we can clearly see that if it was in a dark tunnel, the red lights would be uh, what we see, and that is the light energy. Here we go. Now we've got a good example of thermal energy. The fire is transferring the heat to the pot, and whatever's inside is getting cooked for some delicious uh, food. Okay, this is a great example of sound energy. Let's say that you um, have really big ears, and as somebody strums the guitars, the guitars, guitar strings will vibrate, and those vibrations of the air molecules will go into your ear and create beautiful music. Uh, we saw this example in one of the first slides, right? The moving parts of the wheels and the axis, uh, the gears causing the bike to move. That's a good example of energy. Um, here we have a form of electrical energy because this uh, does have to be plugged in to work. And you could consider it mechanical too because the gears inside have to spin the little uh, blades to sharpen the pencil. That's a good example of both um, mechanical and electrical. And actually, these kind of pencil sharpeners are kind of loud, so that's a good example of uh, sound energy too, right? Uh, mechanical energy, right? We've got wheels that are turning. We've got the steering wheel that can turn. Uh, there's a blade in here that's spinning to cut the grass. Um, also, look at the headlights here. That could be considered light energy. And, of course, we're going to get sound energy because these guys are loud when you start them up. So those are all good examples. Here is um, light energy. The flashlight's off right now, but if it was on, you would see the bright light shining through. Um, you could also, what other energy could you say this was? So maybe electrical energy from the battery that's in there. And this switch here it could be mechanical energy because it has to, it's a moving part you have to push in and out. So it's a good example of, uh, here we have a good example of sound energy. You're playing the drums, some nice beats coming off. And maybe some mechanical energy too from the cymbals going up and down. And then also the drumsticks that you would be hitting the drums with, that's mechanical energy. And that is the end. Thanks for watching and go back and, um, if you need to go back and watch any of the other concepts or go back and take the notes, feel free to do so. Thanks, bye-bye.